Coach, coming out of preseason, you guys have played four matches, heading to overtime in all four of those. Looking forward to your start to the GNAC season this week. Talk about how you guys have been well prepared to head into that. Well, um, upon the conclusion of last season, um, when we started to look at, at what our schedule needed to look like um, for, for 2014, uh, we decided that we wanted to try to play teams uh, that play the same style of soccer as most of the programs in the GNAC do, which is put the ball on the ground, build from the back, you know, um, although at the same time being really physical. And I think we achieved that. Uh, played four games, like you mentioned, uh, two losses, two draws, four overtime games, so we didn't quite get out of those games what we wanted result-wise. But in terms of soccer, uh, I think that we've seen some of the best soccer played at Yellow Jacket Field uh, in a long, long, long time. So, you know, um, I think I think um, going to NNU, which is a team that plays a similar style, style to us, um, it'll only get better. The team. Looking at this season's roster, you guys are much deeper than you have been in the past. Talk about how that has helped you in terms of bringing subs into the game and having a lot of fresh energy in these games. Well, we have a squad of 29, uh, 26 eligible players as of now. Maybe we're going to add one more eligible player um, to that, but um, we really needed more depth in this program. And the fact that we were able to, to bring in guys um, that, that are able to contribute right away or come off the bench in, 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 in such fashion that the level doesn't drop um, for a coach is a huge luxury. Uh, you know, we're playing 14 conference games. All of them will be very, very hard fought. We play uh, Thursdays and Saturdays, so we will have tired legs. We're very good at getting into overtime and playing a lot of extra minutes. So, um, you know, the depth, the depth that we have right now will help us, as it helps us in practice, because it's extremely competitive. The guys are fighting, hustling, challenging in practice. And um, again, from a coach's perspective, that's a huge luxury. Um, you know, we're, we're going to take 20 players, uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, to Nampa, and, and it looks like a lot of those guys will get minutes, just like they've gotten uh, considerable minutes in the, in the four previous games. So, looking forward to that trip. Um, I think we can go there with a lot of confidence, um, because the game that we played yesterday against Colorado Mesa was a very good game. Uh, you know, where, where we played a team that won the RMAC last year, finished ranked um, in the top 25, got a good result against them, played really, really well. Uh, so, like I said, uh, we're going to Nampa with a lot of confidence. All right, Coach, good luck against Northwest Nazarene. Thank you. All right, Jorge, preseason wrapped up last week. You guys are getting ready for the start of GNAC play this week. Uh, you had an interesting start to your college scoring in the most recent game. He scored a goal in the first 10 seconds. Talk about that goal uh, against uh, Colorado Mesa. All right, so uh, TJ, he uh, pressured the ball right away, and uh, I just made the run, and I saw the, saw the open space, and he played, played a pretty decent ball to me. And uh, I honestly, I can't even like explain it because like everything happened so quickly, but I just took a quick touch and hit it with my left foot, even though it's my non-dominant foot. And but I, I couldn't even believe it, but hit the back of the net. And before I knew it, everyone was on my back and cheering me on. And it's probably one of the most exciting moments of my entire life. So you've been really fitting in well with this team right away, starting as a freshman. Talk about some of the support around you, some of the guys that have been stepping up and making that transition easy for you. So the older guys, they've all been great, and even the uh, the foreign exchange students, even though they're not from here, they've they've been a great like support for me, and all the older guys have really helped me out, and they're they're really good role models. So I'm really really happy that I get to be a part of this family. So you're about to experience uh, GNAC play coming up for the first time in your career. Uh, you got Northwest Nazarene on the road this weekend. Um, just talk about your thoughts on the meaning of conference play to you, even though you haven't seen it yet, and uh, what you're excited for this weekend. So uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the GNAC, heard the competition's really strong, and uh, there'll be there'll be some good teams out there, and I am uh, I love competition, and I love uh, I love me some good soccer, so I'm really excited to, to play at, a, at an even higher level. All right, well, congrats on your first goal, and good luck to you this weekend. Thank you, appreciate it.